Isn't it nice to watch a movie about a rich man that tries to do the good thing? Mr. Deeds Goes to Town was directed by Frank Capra, who won his second Academy Award for Best Director, his first one being for the Best Picture winning It Happened One Night. This movie was also nominated for Best Picture. Uh, it didn't win, though. It was nominated also for Best Actor for Gary Cooper. It was also nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay to Robert Riskin, who based it off the short story Opera Hat by Clarence Buddington Kelland. And it was nominated for Best Sound Recording from John Libideri, the Columbia Studio Sound Department. Gary Cooper stars as the title character, who is a small-town guy. He comes from a town called Mandrake Falls. He writes as a poet for a living. He plays the tuba as a hobby. Sometimes he talks to himself if he's alone, and he knowingly does so because, you know, he's eccentric, and he just feels like it could keep him company if he talks to himself. You know, he's a small-town eccentric guy. A good-looking eccentric guy, though, and not really too crazy or goofy. He finds out that he is the heir to a massive fortune and quickly moves to New York to claim it. Now, once he gets his fortune, he wants to do the right thing and do right by doing good things with his money that he has. Which is a little weird, according to some of Mr. Deeds' new rich acquaintances. Being very rich, he is now put in the public spotlight in New York, almost like a tabloid subject. Which leads us into Gene Arthur's character, who plays a reporter that goes by the name of Louise Bennett. And Louise goes undercover by the pseudonym Mary Dawson to get close to Mr. Deeds, follow him around, and report secretively on some of the stuff that he does. Except she writes the stories very exaggerated, like very sensationalist. Mr. Deeds doesn't necessarily like that. However, her ethics are put into question by herself when she finds herself falling for Mr. Deeds, and Mr. Deeds finds himself falling for her, not knowing that she goes by another name and that she's the journalist writing articles about him. This is a really good movie. I actually like this a bit better than it happened one night. Just a personal thing. The acting is really great across the board. Gary Cooper and Gene Arthur have great chemistry on screen. And yes, the romantic subplot is actually very good this time. It doesn't feel super duper forced like most Hollywood movies of this era. It feels natural. The writing works. It looks great on screen. It doesn't come off as annoying or getting in the way of the actual plot. This movie is also pretty funny. I found myself laughing quite a few times throughout watching this movie, and to some, the humor may come off a bit dated, but it worked very well for me. I actually didn't think the humor was super duper dated, unless you have your head stuck in the gutter for, like, a long time. If you're watching Turner Classic Movies and this movie comes on, I would best recommend you don't change the channel. It's a great movie, and you'll be entertained, and it might even get you a little bit in the heart. Because Mr. Deeds is just a very lovable character, and he's in a very well-written story. Mr. Deeds Goes to Town is a bucket list film. It is great. There's not really that much wrong with it. It's just a really great movie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.